Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Gebo the Shaman, and today we're talking about Leo in the 6th house. So what does it mean when we have the sign of Leo in the 6th house? Well, we're definitely going to get into that, so stick around. And before we get into that, I'd just like to let you guys know that I'm having a massive uh, sale, year-end sale. It's good for a few more days. Um, but it will be ending at the end of the year. So Jan January 1st, it ends and you know, that, that sale, those sales are no longer, you know, going to be around. So anyway, just like that, just thought you, I would let you guys know about that. And uh, yeah, um, so we have this massive sale going on right here. It's a massive year end sale. Uh, you can use the codes code HOLIDAY for 60% off and that brings all of my energy work courses which are very powerful and very strong the power of the the strongest energy courses that I have ever experienced in my life are here um, you can get them for 60% off which brings them down to about a hundred bucks which is re a really good deal so anyway there we have there we have uh, you know the, that sale and then above that, we have um, our Vedic Astrology readings are are 30% off, and you can check those out at vincent.thunderwizard.com. You can go there and check those out. Um, and I have my life coaching, mentoring, counseling, well, spiritual counseling services available at uh, patreon.com slash shaman. So there you go. Um, I have all, as well as my energy work courses there too. So let's get into this. So we have Leo in the sixth house. So what does it mean when we have Leo in the sixth house? Well, in order to kind of understand what uh, what what the energies are doing here, we need to understand what the sign of Leo is. So Leo. The sign of Leo is all about creativity, uh, self-expression, it's all about like royalty, leadership, uh, the ego, things like that. Um, yeah, it's just a really, um, you know, it's a really expressive sign. Like it's all about self-expression and getting your, getting your uh, thoughts out there and your creativity out there and you know, really, really being out and out there in public for everybody to see, to, uh, to acknowledge you kind of thing. And so then we have the sixth house and give me a second. I'm going to grab my water here. So we have the sixth house, which is, um, things like work, hard work. It's represented by the sign of Virgo. Uh, so Virgo is the natural sixth house and it's basically, you know, healing others, it's hard work, it's, you know, serving others, it's, um, you know, providing food, shelter, water, uh, medicine for other people, you know, it's a really humanitarian sign. It can also be very critical, on the other hand, it can be very nitpicky, it can be very you know, uh, critical, basically. So, what happens when we have um, Leo in the sixth house? And, um, you know, so what happens when when we have Leo here is basically, um, basically it it kind of it's a weird mishmash of energies because it just it's just kind of odd to me <laughs> that you know it's just weird how this this would work. So I mean. One sign of Leo is, uh, Leo is like health and vitality, um, also it can be represented by that, and 
Uh, sixth house is like all about health and and work, and it's also about um, you know it's also the house of enemies. So um, this means that you would you would you know do well with you know enemies and stuff like that. You would prevail. Um, and yeah, it's just basically kind of um, one of those weird placements where it's like a mishmash of energies that like don't really, I don't know, to me they don't seem like friendly energies. I mean, because cause on, on the one hand you have Leo, which is all about me. It's all about, you know, it's all about me and my, my kind of personal creativity, my own self-expression, things like that. And then you have this sign of Virgo, which is all about serving others. It's about, or sorry, it's the sixth house, which is ruled by Virgo. So there, there's similar energies going on there. So, so we have the sixth house, which is all about, you know, working, serving others. Um, yeah, it's what you do for work, your health, your fitness. So, um, you know, um, someone who has, who has this placement could probably be very egocentric about about the way they look, about their health, about their fitness. You know, they could be they could have an a complex about about, you know, making sure they look good and whatever because of their ego and whatever. And so, um yeah, it's so that can so that can either help you or hurt you, you know? Because it's, it is good to be focused on your health, but it's also not good to be obsessed about your health, you know? <laughs> you know, being obsessed with, about your health can be, can cause you more health problems than not, than just, you know, just doing the best for yourself and not worrying about it kind of thing, so it's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting combination of energies here. It's like, you know, it's, um, gosh, I would say, like, okay, so you would be a, uh, so, so another thing that I'll leave you with here is, um, if you have Leo in the sixth house, that means that you would be a Pisces ascendant, so you should check out my videos on Pisces Ascendants um, to get a better idea of what's going on in your entire chart. But, um, yeah. So, someone who has Leo in the sixth house would probably, would probably, like, be, like, have an ego about serving others as well. They would have an ego about them, their health, and they would have an ego about, you know, serving others, like, you know, one of those people who, um, who serves others with, with selfish intentions, and with, you know, it's, they, they do it, and they pretend like they care, but they're actually kind of just doing it for themselves. So, I mean, that's not good either, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, uh, that that annoys when you, when people do that. They pretend that you know that they're doing something for other people, but they're doing it for themselves, or or you know, they're, to to look good, to to be you know to be seen as somebody who is a good person and whatever. It's so messed up. So anyway, um, what else could I say about this sign? I don't know, um, I think that's it guys, just, um, you know, just kind of, kind of watch, watch your ego kind of thing, uh, you know, cause it's, uh, so one other thing I would say is, um, the last piece of advice I would give you if you have this placement is to look at where your um, where your sun sign is placed because 
Your sun sign will give you a better idea of what is going on in this house. Because sun rules Leo. So you need to look at where your sun is placed to kind of get a better idea. So let's say if you had zero planets in this in this house, uh, you know, you could obviously look at where the where like if you had planets in this house, you could look at where those planets are like the meanings of those planets and kind of get a general feel for what's going on there. But um if you look at where your sun is placed, then you would uh then you would have a better idea of what of what's going on in that that house if if there was no planets in there so if you had no planets then you would in that house then you would want to go ahead and check out where the sun is placed anyway guys uh this is done it for this video once again go ahead and check out all my links here you can go to gebo the shaman dot com dot dot com and uh get you know a huge massive sale right there you can also go above that to vincent.thunderwizard.com for astrology readings and then above that you can go to patreon.com slash the shaman to sign up for my uh life coaching mentoring spiritual counseling all that good stuff and my course is available there too and when you do sign up for my counseling and and uh life coaching, mentoring, and all that good stuff. When you do sign up for that, then you will uh, automatically get my courses for free. So, that's a, that's a major bonus there. Okay guys, so uh, yeah, until next time, we'll talk to you later. Peace.